Again, it's the Global Alliance for Improved Nutrition. It's a Swiss-based international development organization. Um, and we've been going for about 16 years. And over that uh, period, we've grown our program, we've grown our projects, and we're now working in uh, a range of uh, different areas, supporting the people and the government of Nigeria to ensure that uh, people have access to nutritious foods. For, for GAIN, our strategy um, globally and in Nigeria is to increase consumption of nutritious foods for everyone. We started a lot of our work um, around large-scale food fortification and trying to um, support the system here to develop a national program. Large-scale food fortification is a program and an initiative of GAIN Nigeria. GAIN has been working on food fortification and it came as a response to the problem of micronutrient deficiency in Nigeria. Nigeria is one of the countries that we call category one country with an alarming rate of micronutrient malnutrition. We've um, over the years worked with the uh, regulatory system. So th those are the parts of government that are involved in making sure that um, companies who provide these foods are doing it the right way. So organizations like NAFDAC, like the Standards Organization of Nigeria, like the Consumer Protection Council. And the work we've done with them has been to build their capacity to be able to set the rules and also to enforce those rules so that uh, businesses are compliant. Part of the effort around large-scale food fortification is to get our popularly consumed staples and ingredients fortified with these vitamins and minerals, especially vitamin A. So what GAIN does is to engage in public-private partnership through advocacy, through capacity development, through creating an enabling environment for these fortified foods to reach consumers. And GAIN went as far as engaging these public-private laboratories we are also working on a project that we call the post harvest Loss Alliance for Nutrition Plan. Uh, plan is um, again helping us to tackle a particular problem um, in the country and this is also a global problem. Uh, we see that nutritious foods are produced but then are wasted. Plan is the post harvest Loss Alliance for Nutrition basically aimed at reducing post harvest losses in fresh fruits and vegetables in Nigeria. We run through two major platforms, the Alliance platform and the Business to Business platform. In the Alliance platform, we work with government agencies, research institutions, private businesses, and we have over 150 members in that platform. In the Business to Business Engine platform, we engage closely with private businesses, supporting them in various areas, in three intervention areas towards the reduction of food per service loss in fresh fruits and vegetables. The three intervention areas are basically coaching, storage and logistics, proximate processing and creating and packaging. So currently, our plan has about 150 uh, different uh, stakeholders who are part of this alliance and that has now even moved uh, forward to the formation of an association of um, private sector actors who are uh, really interested in uh, addressing this problem so that they have a voice to engage government and begin to push for whether it's new legislation or just changes to things that make business easy for them. From the intervention area of coaching, storage and logistics, give back to Otakwa. Otakwa is simply the Organization for Technology Advancement of Coaching in West Africa. This started in the 1st of June 2018 and with the very first coaching summit in West Africa in November 2018 and we've had several companies signed up to the association. I also have a very exciting uh, project that we are developing. This has actually been focused on one of the states. Um, we're working with Kaduna State on this and we're looking at how do we make animal source foods more available and accessible, um, particularly for children. We need them, but we are not getting them.
The Better Diet for Children's project is a 20-month project and is based in Kaduna State. And our goal is to increase the consumption of eggs amongst children 6 to 59 months of age. And the reason why we are choosing that age bracket is because we have realized from research and all of that that children within that age group don't have a lot of diversified meals, you know. We, their parents tend to feed them foods that are so high in legumes and tubers, carbohydrates, and they're not including other foods groups. So we want to ensure that children are having a better wholesome diet by including eggs twice a week into their diet, yeah. There is a lot of production of eggs, but people are not buying them because they don't understand the importance. So, but how do we intend to get that? The key component we're doing demand creation, and um, the demand creation strategy that we're utilizing is a two-pronged communication approach, where we have above-the-line communication using TV, radio, um, out-of-home advertising to get the buzz out there that caregivers of these children, six to fifty-nine months of age feel desire to feed their children eggs. For Below the Line, we is going to be more site specific. This is us going to the community, talking to caregivers, engaging with community leaders to ensure that more families are adding eggs to the diet of their children six, between 6 to 59 months of age. We have um, a project that we call the um, Scaling Up uh, uh, Nutrition Business Network, SBN Network, and that network is currently a network of about a hundred members and again it's a way of uh, doing the kind of thing that we are particularly good at which is bringing the public and the private sector together um, to address malnutrition. So for the Sun Business Network we have um, specific work streams that our members are signed up to. One of the processes of being um, a member of the business network is that you make a nutrition commitment and in making that nutrition commitment, you identify in which areas you would like to um, scale up your activities or do something new that has a positive impact on nutrition. Now we have a work stream that is around improving consumer awareness of nutrition. And we have some companies that have signed up to that work stream, that's their focus area. So through their day-to-day -day businesses, in their interactions with their customer base, they will carry out targeted activities that will help with consumer education around nutrition. The second work stream is improving nutrition along the agricultural value chain, which basically includes all activities from farm to fork. So there's a bit of consumer education in there as well. There's food safety, there's product handling, there's packaging, um, there's adherence to regulatory uh, policies and standards as part of the sun activities to help businesses to get um, more access to finance. What we did in Nigeria was to have a local elevator pitch competition, which um, we hosted in collaboration with an anchor partner. Now the process of that competition was we put out an advertisement for businesses to apply to be part of the pitch competition. We had over 140 businesses from across Nigeria who applied to be part of it, the 2018 Nutri Pitch, and most of those businesses were women, women-led, women-focused businesses, which is something that we're very happy about. And last year we had a regional pitch competition, which the winners from the national pitch competition went on to attend. And we are happy to say that the overall winner of the regional pitch competition came from the Sun Business Network in Nigeria. Finally, we do some work with the Federal Ministry of Agriculture. We, uh, we're supporting the Minister um, through uh, one of our senior colleagues who works as the um, senior advisor to the Minister on nutrition and food security. And that work has um, really shifted a lot of things in terms of the way that the Federal Ministry of Agriculture uh, looks, at, looks at nutrition. FMAD is the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development in Nigeria. And um, the key components of what we are doing, one is raising the profile of nutrition in the agricultural sector. And by that, it's, uh, we mean ensuring that in everything that agriculture does or whatever is done in the agri-sector, 
takes nutrition into consideration because traditionally, agriculture sector has always focused on improving productivity and raising incomes of farmers. But then we know that if the farmers are not well nourished, they won't have enough strength to do what they are supposed to do. The second key component is around improving capacity of the staff to integrate nutrition into, the, into their activities. The third component is around also getting the key people in the ministry to understand why the people under them should think nutrition as they work in the sector. And uh, lastly, we're trying within the work of government to promote nutrition and its importance to the economy of the country and to the well-being of the people. All of these uh, things are, uh, you know, they're connected. Um, and the idea is that we work on, on what we call supply or access. How do we make, through our work, how do we make food more available so that there's more of it for people to be able to access. And then the second part is on demand. How do we then create the demand for the right types of food so that that's also affecting what people are growing or producing so that there's a connection there. And then the third part is within the, the enabling environment. How is government regulation or legislation or policies, how are they helping to ensure that people can have easy access to nutritious food and also that businesses can uh, produce and make profit. The very immediate our future outcome is having data for nutritional status of people, the various sectors of the population. Like right now, we are leading the planning of a national food consumption and micronutrient survey. And that is for us to have a baseline for assessing future progress and also assessing future needs in the sector where the agricultural sector is concerned. And um, one of the future outcomes too that we're looking at is to have a workforce strategy for building the capacity of people in the in the ag sector for them to be able to do nutrition work. We're happy to, to do this, to provide support to the government um, establishment around uh, food fortification and uh, also to support the private sector as well, the industries, to know what to do and to encourage, advocate for full standard, um, a full level of fortification and uh, we will continue to do that. The malnutrition problem that we're facing in Nigeria is, is a crisis and for us to be able to address that crisis we need to move really quickly and there's no way that government can do that so this is really where uh, working in the kind of alliances that we work in whether it's the Plan Alliance or the Sun Business Network and other alliances that we work in and we um, support and facilitate is critical to getting that investment in and making sure that um, the private sector's um, presence uh, can help us to shift the needle.